Hello, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can very quickly and easily create a mounting system to deploy your Marquee MV cameras. Uh, so my name is George Benting. I'm the Director of Product Management for the Marquee Camera Systems. And I'm gonna show you some of the things we use internally at Marquee to quickly deploy and test cameras. The reason I wanted to put this video together is we are receiving a lot of questions from those of you that are needing to deploy cameras at very short notice in temporary places, often on Wi-Fi during some of the emergency situations we have going on at the moment. So I wanted to share some of the tips we have internally about how we do it. These aren't the professional recommended ways of deploying and installing the cameras. We do have a series of mount for permanent deployments. This is just our suggestion as to what you can do if you need to put the camera somewhere temporarily. So all the mounts I'm gonna show you are from a company called RAM. RAM mounts. If you Google it, you'll find it almost immediately. They're very, very popular. They have a whole series of universal ball joint mounting mechanisms and accessories, which you can use to put together pretty much any type of mount you want and mount almost anything to almost anything else. So we're going to be using the B series. So I have uh, some components here. Uh, so this is a B series medium arm. Um, it's just a small plastic arm. Uh, they also do a metal one. And it has these gaps, which uh, the ball part of the ball joint goes in. So I have a plate here. Um, I'm gonna clip that in. Uh, and I have another end here. I'm gonna clip this uh, arm in. So I'm gonna put that in. I'm just gonna tighten it up. So you could choose lots of different parts. I'm gonna go through some other parts in a minute. Uh, we find the B series mounts are the best for the small cameras like the MV12 and the MV32. If you have one of the larger cameras like the MV22 or the MV72, the C series mounting uh, series uh, is bigger and is better suited. You're not gonna have too much weight on this ball joint, which means it slowly creeps and changes direction over time. Uh, so this is what we use for temporary mounting to say server racks, uh, very skinny poles. So for example, this uh, pole next to me is a um, microphone stand that's holding my webcam using exactly this, but not holding an MV camera, it's holding a webcam above me. Um, so super convenient. This particular one, what I've done is I've taken their just generic round plates and I've put something on the end of it. Uh, so this is 3M and it is called Dual Lock. So Dual Lock is this incredibly strong industrial grade Velcro type material, and it has these uh, different stems on it which interlock with each other incredibly strongly. Uh, they have different densities, low, medium, and high. We recommend the low and medium. The high density is so strong that it's almost impossible to get anything apart. Um, so use, use those. And what you could do is you can get an MV mounting plate. So I have one here like this, it's an MV12 and MV32 mounting plate. And you just put a little bit of the dual lock on the back. So there you go. And then you can just push it onto the end of this. Like so. So you've got that on there. You can see that's pretty robust. And I tighten that up and then it's, it's pretty firm. You can then sort of attach that to uh, whatever your pole is. I don't have a spare pole here, so I have to imagine my finger is that is that pole. Um, and all you need to do is now get your camera. So here is a handy uh, MV12. I'm going to just line the pins up on the mounting plate. And there we go. I have my, uh, my camera ready to go. And you have so many degrees of freedom. You have this joint uh, up here. If I loosen this, you'll see. I've got this joint here. We've got this joint here. You can take the camera dome off and you can adjust the camera here. And you also have the Velcro, so you can just like take it off and put it back on and move it around. As you can see, this 3M uh, dual lock is pretty strong. So uh, definitely don't use the stronger stuff. This is the medium stuff. Um, so there you go. That's a really simple way to create something which will attach to almost anything that this can grip onto. Now, if you want the camera to be permanently mounted to this plates. Uh, you could use an alternative. Uh, so this is 3M VHB. This is uh, an industrial grade double-sided adhesive. If you've ever used a GoPro, this is the adhesive you have in your GoPro mount. It's incredibly strong. Don't stick anything together unless you never want it to come apart. <laughs> uh, so you can use that instead. We tend to use the dual lock. Uh, and because this is a whole system, there are whole sorts of uh, all sorts of different mounts. So for example, I can take that claw off there. I can take this off here and you can get different lengths of arm. And we have uh, this one. 
uh, which is just a suction uh, mount. So I can put that on my uh, table, lock it up, and now I have uh, mounted to my table. And then I could go in here and add uh, this big plate, which I've also got 3M dual lock on. So if I wanted two cameras, I could attach my two cameras here and I have two cameras temporarily mounted. Now, don't use this suction mount on a surface like this wood surface here. It will fail within probably about 30 to 60 seconds with any level of weight. Use it on glass, ceramic, or something very, very smooth, uh, and you'll be fine. Otherwise, uh, you can use these uh, clamps, or you can use an, any number of the other type of mounting mechanisms that RAM have on their website that fit in this uh, series of mounts. So I hope that was useful. Uh, this is not ne necessarily something we recommend for permanent deployment, but it's incredibly useful and convenient for short-term deployments, and it's not something we have in our catalog. Um, if you do want a professional grade mount for permanent deployments, we have all of those, but these will get you by for a temporary deployment.